Hello everybody. Today I'm going to talk about Dr. Bronner's and Ivory and introduce them to you as all-purpose cleaners that everybody should have in their cleaning closet because there's so many different uses for them. And I'm going to show you different items that you might not have even known you could clean and I'm going to tell you which ones prefer to be cleaned with Dr. Bronner's or Ivory. There's so many things that can be cleaned with Dr. Bronner's or Ivory from antiques to your house plants and I'll even show you how to clean your car well, maybe not this one <laughs> I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how you prepare these cleaners for use and we'll start with ivory and it's very concentrated it's not just for washing dishes you can find it in most grocery stores for just a couple of dollars and it's been around for so many years so just get your bucket, fill it with really hot water and add a couple squirts of ivory. You can use your kitchen sink as well and then you've got an all-purpose cleaner to wash things down. You can also apply ivory directly to tubs and sinks and various other surfaces. I like that ivory doesn't have any dyes in it and the perfume is quite light so sometimes I will add some lavender or my favorite essence oil to it to give it a really nice fresh scent. You can make your own multi-purpose spray so easily by getting a spray bottle, fill it with water, add a few drops of ivory and a few drops of your favorite essence oil and then you can use your spray for so many different uses. Now on to Dr. Bronner's. I really love that they're certified fair trade and made with organic oils. I really do like to support companies that have conscience. Dr. Bronner's is pricey, but it is well worth it. It's highly concentrated. You can make your own all-purpose spray the same way as the ivory without adding any essence oil. As I say in all of my videos, just two squirts. That's all you need in a bucket of water. You've got an all-purpose cleaner. It's not going to foam up a bunch, but it works fantastic. So now you know how to prepare your cleaners and now I'm going to tell you how to clean all of these various things. We've got a few different categories and we're going to break it down so that you know what to use. Either Dr. Bronner's or the Ivory. This is the only thing I don't think we can clean. Let's start with the shiny stuff. Any mirrors, glass, shower doors, anything like that. Ivory is so wonderful at cleaning dishes and your drinking glasses, so why not clean these kind of glasses with them as well? Just get a bucket of water, fill it up, put some ivory in it, and you can just wash down all your shiny stuff, and then take a soft cloth and shine things up. Or you can use a squeegee to get rid of the excess moisture, and your glass is going to come out beautiful. Antiques can be irreplaceable, so you really want to be careful when deciding whether to try cleaning them. To clean this beautiful old storage chest, I would dampen a cloth with Dr. Bronner's in water, very, very light amount of moisture, give it a wipe, dry it immediately. I wouldn't use anything on these luggages because I think that they need to be done with a special leather treatment. For this cool old gramophone, I would take a dampened cloth, barely any moisture with Dr. Bronner's in water, give it a quick wipe, and then I would dry it immediately. You have to be careful about getting moisture into antiques like this. The wood part, I probably would do a test spot on the very bottom of it to see if the wood is able to be cleaned. It may only need to be wiped with a dry cloth if it is vulnerable to moisture. If an item is rare, you may want to have a professional clean it. I know it would probably be logical to use ivory to clean these ivory tins, but I would probably use Dr. Bronner's and water on a dampened cloth and then wipe them immediately to avoid any kind of rust. Now on to vehicles. Most interiors can be cleaned inside of vehicles without buying special products and I love using Dr. Bronner's in a bucket of water, lukewarm water, and washing my vehicle down. Now these vehicles are beyond help, but if you have a vehicle like mine with the harder kind of dashboard and nothing too leathery or porous, then you can go ahead and, and use Dr. Bronner's in water and it's going to make your vehicle smell so fantastic. Dilute some ivory in a bucket of water and then take a cloth and shine up your headlights, mirrors, windshields, hubcaps, anything that you need a bit of shine to on your vehicle. 
wash your RV with a bucket of water and ivory or Dr. Bronner's. Both will work great. Just make sure that you give it a really good final rinse. Now here's some things you might not have known you could clean, like your silk flowers. If they get dusty, just take a solution of Dr. Bronner's and water with a damp cloth. Give them a little wipe. Same thing with your house plants. I have found that shining up the leaves this way works fantastic. Dusty wicker can be wiped down with Dr. Bronner's and water on a damp cloth as well. There are so many different kinds of wood and so many different ways of cleaning it. Some prefer not to have any moisture at all and would like to have oil instead. However, many types of wood, like this painted set, can be washed very easily by using a dampened cloth with Dr. Bronner's and water and dried immediately. Avoid spraying wood because this could cause damage. You can also use a dampened cloth with Dr. Bronner's and water to clean the fronts of cabinet doors that are low luster or painted. You might want to do a test spot to make sure that your cabinets are going to take the moisture well. Remember to dry your wood immediately and avoid using any moisture on very high gloss wood. Let's move on to some kitchen items. Your trash can can be washed out with water and Dr. Bronner's to get that nice fresh scent or you can use ivory and a little bit of essence oil as well. Either method on the trash can will work wonders in freshening it all up. Your stove hood filter can be easily cleaned by putting it in the sink with Dr. Bronner's and water or ivory and water. Both methods work terrific. Just give it a little bit of a soak and a wash and it'll come out great. The spray bottle method for your microwave works fantastic. Either ivory or your Dr. Bronner's in your spray bottle with your water. Spray it, leave it for a few minutes, go back, give it a wipe and it's going to be beautiful and ready for your next use. Whether you're doing a thorough clean or just every day wipe down of your stove top you can use the Dr. Bronner's or ivory in your spray bottle for that as well just give it a spray leave it for a little bit go back and give it a wipe keep your spray bottle with Dr. Bronner's or ivory in the kitchen so that you can clean up your countertops and everyday messes that might happen there you can clean up your sink by putting ivory directly on it and giving it a good clean with a cloth and then giving it a rinse and shining it up. And of course, ivory is a dishwashing liquid, so wash your dishes with it. They'll come out great. The methods of cleaning for flooring can differ from different styles. So I have found that lino and tiling are great with Dr. Bronner's and water or ivory and water. Some laminates prefer one over the other. And if you find that there's any sort of a film or anything, then you may want to try the other method. And I found that hardwood sometimes can be really tricky and you want to make sure that you follow your manufacturer's instructions. For your walls and your ceilings, you can use Dr. Bronner's in water in a bucket and then you can grab a flat mop and wash those surfaces so easily. It's going to smell so fantastic. It's a great way to freshen everything up and save yourself a paint job. Other great uses for Dr. Bronner's you might not know about is that you can use it to wash your laundry with. Check out the bottle for the instructions on how to do it. And your bird cage can be cleaned with it as well. And then you don't have chemical residue in your pet's home. Since Dr. Bronner's is pet friendly, you can pick some up for your pooch. Get the unscented kind and you can give them a scrub and get them all nice and shiny clean again. Use your own discretion with your technology, like your laptops, computers, and cell phones. But I like to take a very well wrung out cloth with the Dr. Bronner's and water and give it a quick wipe and then dry them really quickly. During my many years as a pro house cleaner, I've heard so many times where people don't think that certain things can be washed, like their fancy vases or their little trinkets and almost everything can be washed. There are exceptions, so use your own discretion, but I have to say that I have had great success by taking ornaments and vases, and you can use Dr. Bronner's and water to give them just a wipe, or if they're not as delicate, you can put them into a sink of water with Dr. Bronner's and give them a wash. Vases really love the ivory as well. Onto the washroom. 
I like to use ivory because it's so cost effective and I can put it directly into my sink or into the shower and just give it a really good scrub with some water and soap is known to be what we use to get rid of germs so I feel that in my opinion it works great in the washroom. I even use the ivory inside of the toilet bowl and you can use your spray bottle to do the outside of the toilet as well. Your porch siding or your outside house siding can be washed with Dr. Bronner's and water or ivory and water and you can use your spray bottle for difficult spots. It'll make it all nice and shiny clean. Your patio sets can be cleaned with Dr. Bronner's and water and then that way you don't have to worry about anything penetrating into the ground that would be harmful. And last but not least, you can clean yourself with Dr. Bronner's or ivory. I use ivory only for my hands, but Dr. Bronner's can be used safely for your whole entire body, including your hair. So as you can see, these are incredible all-purpose products and there are probably even more uses for them than I've listed. So what have I missed? Is there anything that you would like to know whether or not to use Dr. Bronner's or Ivory on? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that helps you in your cleaning. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like, share, and comment, and push the notification button for more videos on cleaning and some other various things on my channel. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. See you next week. I'm a mess. Don't know how I got here, but I'm blessed. Didn't know it'd take me past my destiny. You're behind me with the rest. I'm a mess. No.